Contrary to what you may think, we have junk rooms just like anyone else, and our guest bedroom is one of them. But we've been working to transform this space, so consider this part one of our guest bedroom makeover. I wanted to share my design vision with you guys so you have a better understanding of my plan for this space. In this part one video, you'll see how our beautiful storage bench was built, as well as all the painting that was done in this room, and also how we gave an old accent wall a fresh look. There are many different ways to construct the storage bench, but Bernard built ours using a biscuit joiner. Now the way a biscuit joiner works is it creates a groove in the wood and then you insert a biscuit which is actually compressed wood and some glue and when you put the two pieces of wood together the glue is going to cause the biscuit to expand and that's going to have a better bond and better stability to the build. So the space we're working with for the storage bench is 14 feet long. That being said, it just made more sense to build the bench in three sections, which actually simplified the build process and also made it easier for Bernard and I to transport them to the bedroom. One thing about my husband, when a project goes according to plan, best believe he'll celebrate with a dance. About three years ago, we installed this slat wall, but we were pretty new to projects back then and didn't take the time to clean up our work. As you saw, there were visible nail holes and gaps, and for some reason, we painted this wall in a semi-gloss finish, and I, for the life of me, cannot recall why. Since we were already updating this room, it only made sense to fix the slat wall, because when you know better, you do better. I filled all the nail holes and caulked the seams for a cleaner look. The number one paint question we're always asked is how to achieve those clean, crisp paint lines. And I can only tell you what works for us. Bernard always used white paintable caulk 
along the tape line which creates a better seal with the wall. He then paints and removes the tape as soon as he's done painting. If you guys learn nothing else from us, I hope our projects will inspire you to create your home in your own image. Because as long as you love your choices, they'll never go out of style. Take for instance painting this ceiling. This part made a lot of folks nervous, but not us. And you know why? Well, for one, it's just paint and it's your house. And you won't know how it'll turn out unless you actually try. Oh, and this green is Rosemary by Sharon Williams. Since we were already repainting the slat wall, we took the paint up onto the ceiling to complement the green paint design. This color is Iron Ore by Sharon Williams. I mean, look how much better this space looks already. And y'all, please don't come for me about our twin bed. We brought it from our previous home and it'll be replaced later as the makeover continues. Now I'm gonna leave you guys with some styled photos to really appreciate the details so far. If you have any questions or compliments, you can leave us a comment. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.